Hey, what is going on everyone? My nickname is Cyberler. Welcome to this video on the Farm simula Simulator 19. Farming Simulator 19 3D, something like that. What I wanted to uh, show you in this video is if this works, it's going to be the greatest scheme in Farming, farming Simulator 19. All right. It will be the greatest scheme okay uh, I have this farm and I'm going to delete this farm and start a new one so uh, let's well, I have to leave the farm okay delete the farm first so I can delete it delete farm yes it's been deleted start a new farm okay no password anybody can uh, jump in and play all right so uh, the the difficulty of this is from scratch which I don't believe it because they give me five hundred thousand dollars right ahead so when they say from scratch I should have zero dollars just like it says here player zero I should have actually zero dollars if they truly want me to start from scratch because if this scheme works, if this scheme ends up working for me, they really should consider making a difficulty from scratch by giving me zero amount of dollars. And you'll see uh, in a few short minutes why. I'm going to join this farm because this is my farm. And uh, um, let's... Uh, let's look around I don't own anything if I click don't own anything as you can see all right uh, I'm not uh, doing anything fishy here uh, okay that's an, that's been established I l literally have to walk around I don't have vehicles I have money oh I can shop uh, I can teleport to a shop so I can click on this teleport to a shop I can do that all right um, and uh, you probably wonder, well, what type of scheme are you, are, you, are you trying to pull? Well, first, let's talk about a little bit about this game. In a level, there is a medium level, there's a from scratch level, which I don't believe it's a from scratch level. If this um, scheme ends up working for me, uh, they should really consider having a from scratch level by giving me zero amount of dollars, literally, literally. literally however you want to pronounce it um, and this game is awesome right so you can la uh, you can own lands you can own animals you can own uh, um, tractors and cars and all kinds of equipment and farm and all do all kinds of stuff if you're not familiar with uh, what type of a game this is it's awesome uh, if you give me a few minutes you'll see it why the game is so awesome and you'll also learn how to probably scheme if the scheme or goes my way right all right so uh, yeah uh, I've been playing this game for quite a few hours um, I have behind it and I'm still learning a lot about this game as I was playing it I was wondering about something uh, when you first uh, create a farm you saw you get five hundred thousand dollars right and you have an option to like if you go onto the map if you click an X and you can like buy a land as you can see this uh, property here cost $847,000 okay now how much money do I have $500,000 okay uh, it's in red here that says balance now obviously I cannot buy that so most of us are looking to buy something cheap maybe like a uh, range around 200,000 maybe even cheaper maybe like uh, like this land here that I used to own at one point that uh, cost only $171,000 and it's uh, kind of you know enough little have, have a little flat but it's not that flat so it's got a little hill there it's difficult to operate uh, uh, on this land because it's it, it's got little hills 
and it's got these trees and it's you know I mean you probably well why don't you cut the trees and all that stuff yeah, then you have to take the stumps out and all that stuff uh, equipment to take the stumps out that costs a lot of money um, there's this uh, like a wall here where our tractors have a hard time turning around and such and such so yeah it's kind of, there's a hill like this way like from here up hill here uh, what that is so it's difficult right uh, I mean you can start you can buy it but it's a difficult uh, land to work on and uh, uh, it will take a long time for anybody to uh, make the money back mm, from that land because it's a small land it's pricey and you have to have all kinds of equipment on it and if you decide to buy equipment uh, literally you're going to spend all the five hundred thousand dollars if not even more you might even have to lend some money from the bank which is at the shop there's a bank um, what's my goal my goal in this game would be right away towards my scheme because as I said if you want to succeed you in this game you need to have land you need to have equipment you need to have a lot of stuff that is expensive that's pricey all right and the objective is once you own one of these small lands to make enough money to buy bigger lands bigger tractors everything bigger right well part of my scheme is what about if I end up owning one of my favorite uh, farms or uh, lots that I call farm lots right off the bat from the beginning all right this is this is my this is my plan this is my scheme I'm scheming like this is I mean there's more to it trust me it's just as I was thinking like what about if I own this land right off the bat and press buy and go through it right now how much money do I have I have 71,000 actually let's uh, look at it somewhere else I mean, is there anywhere else that shows me how much money I have is it, where's my like a bank doesn't tell okay it does tell me balance Seventy-one thousand and forty—I mean, sixty-four dollars. Now, with this money, I cannot buy a damn thing. I mean, I can buy something, but it's just not gonna uh, do the justice on anything. I mean, the cheapest tractor is fifty-nine thousand dollars, which I definitely will need for the farm. Um. The cheapest trailer that I will probably need is eight thousand uh, dollars. The cheapest harvester that I would need is eighty-four thousand dollars, but I would prefer this one uh, for a hundred thousand dollars. And uh, like pretty much, I'm talking about all the cheap stuff. It would cost me pretty much close to half a million dollars. Another half a million dollars. So. In reality, I would need uh, close to one million dollars to own everything, so I can start with my favorite farm, with all the tools to have. So what, what would people do? Would probably go um, to the bank here, and I would uh, borrow the money by clicking this hundreds and hundreds of times to collect enough money to buy all those tools for their farm so they can start farming seeding and whatever else so I own the land let's go to my land and see what type of uh, am I hearing these uh, value master vehicle environment that's at 80 how about 50 save the game yeah those birds are a little too loud okay yeah, it's better now 
Okay, I'm actually l running towards my land. It's up here. It's my favorite land. Uh, why is my favorite land? Because shop is right there. Gas station is right here. Um, silos where you can sell uh, stuff. Uh, see, I mean, harvest and all that stuff are literally all around this place. And this is the only farm that is the the most the surface of it it's the most flattest of all the farms out there look how um, how hilly that farm is i mean there's a little hill on this farm but it's no big deal like this little hill here but it's no big deal all right and uh it's growing grass okay so so I have grass grown. All right, here's another thing about grass. It's awesome to uh, have it as a uh, means of uh, um, what you call the making money, uh, because it always grows. Once you seed it, it always grows. Um, you can always make money off of it. I mean, grass grows not just on your farm but around your uh, farmland as well. So you can uh, collect that uh, as well if you need extra extra money right okay um now what do i need to actually farm this grass to start making money i have seventy one thousand. well here is the actual scheme here we go let me open up oh now it's a uh, saving go here all right my scheme is under the contract contract i want to look for something that i can use on my farm okay that without having to either buy it or lease it um from the store I have $71,000 and let's see if this is gonna work like here's a harvester I don't need a harvester but like if you if you if when you buy if you land a uh, farm or whatever is growing some type of a, a wheat uh, you can get the harvester and when you get it you do not want to accept the contract you want to borrow the items Okay, not accept the contract, but borrow the items. It automatically accepts the contract by borrowing items. Yes, you get less money, um, but you use the uh, equipment to complete the contract. Well, when I discovered this, I was like, well, wait a minute. Can I use uh, equipment on my land to uh, complete my task and then go ahead and maybe complete the uh, contracts uh, complete the contract so well I'm going to find out fertilizing okay so this one gives good amount of money like I would do fertilizing I don't, I don't like to do harvesting for a contract it takes time but fertilizing I don't mind doing fertilizing and it gives me a tractor that's a one one thing less to uh, to uh, watch them go the lease and gives good money right right off the bat but bailing here's something How about this since I do have to cut the grass and I have to you uh, need a harvest as I said if you need a harvester there are like harvesters if you if they're not harvest whoa seventy four thousand dollars this guy will give me to harvest what harvest potatoes in field eight and take the product to a restaurant wow okay that's awesome 
See, I can do that right now. But that's not the point. I'm the, what I'm trying to do. Um, what I'm trying to do is, as I said, find something that I can use for my land, which is baling. This is a grass cutter, I know, because I used to cut grass. This tractor is probably good enough to pull this. So I get free tractor, free uh, grass cutter, and plus five more uh, objects or tools that I cannot see. Uh, but it tells you five more. So this is what I'm going to do. This is my scheme. I'm going to borrow this item. And since I borrowed it, I get six thousand two hundred dollars minus uh, or some some uh, certain amount of money because I borrowed the items. Okay, so where's the items? Items should uh, spawn at the uh, store. Yeah, there is something here. Yep, yeah, here you go. Tractor. All right. Press enter to start. pick up these weights we need to go to, uh, to field one because I'm gonna use this equipment on my field if I need to cut that but I'm trying to, if I know how to freaking drive this thing backwards it would be nice I think I need to pick this up this way to hook up the other part because I own this in my other uh, farm I own exact thing and I know I think I know how to get it okay so I get it get it this way and then you hit the pole and then you maneuver around up the wrong way again are you kidding me? I have to go around again. Uh, should I edit this? Probably should edit this because this is uh, embarrassing. <laughs> I own this equipment. I do. And I'm like, horrible. And all this equipment is free. Like, look, I still have $71,000. I haven't lost anything. Free. free of charge that's my scheme but will it work I mean since I'm going to use it on my land and it's somebody else's equipment you know is this going to work look at all this equipment that they gave that thingy that thingy and, this, and that thingy and that thingy which is a trailer okay so yeah all those thingies are called thingies but this this is the only thing that is called a mower grass mower all right no, I don't know the names of the other ones. I just know the name of this uh, grass mower, mower, or whatever. All right, let's go up here to my farm, which is really close. You know, so I don't have to worry about uh, that. And start cutting grass. You know, start to make money off of my land. You know, I don't care about the field one. You know, I care about my field. I mean, I paid for this field for hundred thousand dollars. I need to take care of it. Okay. Okay. I need to unfold all this. Okay. Unfold just that. That. Going on. This real tool, tool is uh, reserved for contract work. This vehicle slash tool. What? Oh. It's not cutting the grass. Is this thing working? I turned it on. Have I turned it on? 
Yeah, turn, turn off more. Turn on more. It's not done. How about that for hair? What? That's all right, all right, so something is going on. I have to figure this out. It's gotta work, something has to work here. I mean, there's no, why is, it, why is it not letting me cut the grass on my field? I mean, it's a mower for that, so you should be able to cut the grass anywhere, whatever I choose, right? That's interesting. All right, uh, I have to figure something out. So what? Do I figure out? Well, I have a tractor, right? And uh, I'm gonna drop this off. I have a tractor. Wait, is that a music? Let me turn that music off. Is there a music here? Option plot. We. Where's the music? Radio, volume, okay. Environment, where's the music? I mean, this is the radio. I can turn, okay, I can turn it off. Input help mode, I don't know what that is. Say game, back. No music is playing, okay, good. Okay, um, it's not working. Okay, well, I have to figure this out. Something has to work. I mean, there's no way that, like, this tractor, I mean, I drive the tractor over my field, so. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's look into leasing then uh, a mower. Because. The contractor gave me all kinds of tools. One of those tools is going to have to work. And we're going to have to test each one of them. But right now, I have to start leasing, I guess, stuff. All right, so let's start leasing. Or buying. Uh, let's see. Um, this one. is a uh, what if i like lease okay it's not bad it's uh it's only 816 dollars okay so i'm gonna lease this but it's gonna take a while for me to cut the grass with it but that's all right i mean i'm gonna go pick it up and i'll see you back at the farm okay i am back at the farm i have my uh Moro, which is the small more least. Now you probably wonder, hey Sai, uh, you're not scheming anybody out of anything. Um, are you sure? I mean, yes, I had to lease the mower, but what? What about the tractor that I'm driving? Did I lease that? No, I did not lease it. I did not buy it. It's actually free. So, it shows you how much you know. I, the, 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 this uh, scheme is actually, should be worth it. I just have to figure out how. Ah, see, it's working. So the tractor, so it's not the tractor that is uh, complaining, it's the tool. So the tools, not let me uh, use it on my farm so I have to lease the tools but not the track okay so I'm just gonna hire a worker to cut all the grass up here and uh, I'll see you at the end okay so I'm back from break and I realize that he's almost done I think he's going back in his last uh, the line here.
contract where is it active okay it doesn't show me anymore what the game is. i'm gonna go to the store and see what uh, what tools uh the person gave me but i want to put this away so it's not in my way i don't want to like i don't need to use it so i'm gonna give it to this neighboring farmer here I don't want to look at this thing because I cannot use it, so I don't want to look at it. I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm going to drop it off here like so. Hey, I think this is... Yeah, it does look like something that would be used to turn the grass. Wait, what, what does this contract want me to do? Grass and fields. Then dry it with a tether and bale it. Take the bills to barn. Yep, that's why that's why they gave me this to to turn it and uh, turn it into hay and sell it. How much is the hay? Wow, it's pretty cheap, thirty-one dollars. But sale silage or so whatever, it's one hundred forty dollars i mean that's their their cheap too but it's much uh higher than just doing the grass okay but i don't see another equipment that i would uh, need to use is there another uh, contract here Bailing, bailing. What does the, the more grass and film? Then bail grass and wrap it to make silage bales. Take the bales to barn. Ah, uh -huh, okay. So this one has a wrapper, and this one has a wrapper as well. And I need the wrapper, so I'm gonna have to cancel this contract when I'm done using the tools. So, so I can get the free wrapper. But now I I think this one collects the grass and puts it in the line. Or does this turn the grass? What the heck is this? Alright, I'm gonna hook this up and take it. Because one of these puts the grass in the nice straight line and one of them um, turns the grass, flips the grass over to turn it into a hay. So I'm gonna grab this one because it's kind of in order. So, because that one is the last thing that I need is that trailer. I definitely need the trailer to pick up the bales. So I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna take it to the my farm and see what this does so I'll see you on my uh, farm okay I'm back at the farm and I need to unwrap this and see what this does I think this thing collects grass and puts it inside it does look like something that it would do something like that turn it on oh this one too this vehicle tool is reserved for contract work yeah it's not working okay all right now i can't hold it there go, it's holding all right so this is this one is not going to work That's that's too bad. But oh, that's all right. I'm going to drop it off here, and I'm going to have to uh, rent or lease another equipment. But you probably wonder, hey, um, you're not actually scheming anything. You're not. You you're still you know leasing stuff. Well, wait a minute. Let's 
check the uh, lease for the cheapest tractors. How much would cost for me to lease a tractor? Three thousand dollars. That's the that's the cheapest one. Three thousand dollars. And may I remind you, this guy here, I am using for free. I'm using him for free. I'm not. I'm not leasing this guy. The only thing that I leased was the mower over there, small mower, and I hired workers. But since I was thinking about something, this next tool that I'm gonna have to lease, um, this tool I can hire a worker. But the tool after that, I cannot hire a worker. So, I might have to uh, actually lease another tractor. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to make money off of this. You know, and I, and I want to uh, speed this up because I don't want to do the manual work. I want to hire as much of uh, help as possible. So, I'm going to go grab, uh, grab another lease, which is the... Called, uh, not the flipper grass flipper, but the uh, thing that uh, puts the grass in line nice and straight. Uh, this is the one that I'm talking about, which is uh, over here. This one, and I'm going to. This one's like eight meters, so. This one a lease is for one thousand dollars. Let me see if I can get anything that does. Hundred ten horsepower. Can that thing pull this? How much is it to lease it? Three thousand dollars to lease it. Oh, see, yeah, that's that's the thing that the contractor gave me is this thing, and this thing leases for. Five point six thousand dollars. Whoa! All right, and this one is. Well, this one is bigger. Look at this. Fourteen point eight meters. This one is only nine point one meters. Uh, let's see if uh, three thousand one hundred dollars. I'm gonna lease this guy. Because the, the job is going to be quicker if I lease this guy. So I'm going to lease him. I mean, I have I have a big enough engine for, the, to, for this guy to actually do the job. Or I just said that I wanted to lease a tractor. A tractor to follow me with that equipment right there. Okay, um, what did this say? How much... Horsepowers that this thing needed. This big guy. 110 horsepowers. 110 horsepowers. Okay, so the little guy should be able to do it. I mean, how much is to lease these guys? $3,300. Um, well, it's only 100 horsepowers. Wow. The Fiat is actually stronger than this guy. But it's cheaper. Look at that. Oh, because this guy can attach front loader. Okay, um, this guy is a three thousand dollar lease. I'll grab this guy. I mean, I can buy him, but I might have to lease more stuff. So I'm going to lease guy this guy as well. I'm I'm gonna make money. I, I'm positive I'm gonna make money. So okay. So he can uh, he can do that probably. Because I know that the, the Fiat guy will have a hard time uh, using this equipment right here that I'm about to hook up. This one needs more power. Right here, this guy. So I'm going to take this guy up there and then and, uh, come back for the Fiat and hook up the meter. And uh, I'm going to show you this uh, cool feature, follow me feature, if you haven't 